We learned today that the breach of federal computers was much bigger than we were told. 18 million current and former federal employees may have had their private information hacked. The Chinese are the leading suspects. Major Garrett tells us that lawmakers went looking for answers today, but got few. If there's anyone to blame, it is the perpetrators. The director of the Office of Personnel Management, Kathy Archuleta, told Congress today no one in the U.S. government is responsible for the data breach. Despite seven separate reports from as far back as 2009 warning the agency of massive cyber vulnerabilities. A watchdog report out last Wednesday said a new system in place to detect these attacks is also insufficient. It read in part, there is a high risk that this project will fail. Hackers stole personal information to build surveillance files on possible targets for blackmail and threats. One example, intelligence agents posted overseas. Sean Henry is a former FBI assistant director. They've got a, a full network. They know who their friends and relatives are. They know where the towns they grew up in. They know the names of their pets. And they oftentimes know the deepest, darkest secrets. The breach impacts current, former, and prospective federal employees and any family member or friend who showed up on a security clearance form. You find a lot of information out on people that they don't necessarily want their friends to know. They certainly don't want their enemies to know. At least three senators and the White House press secretary have received notices that their personal information may have been compromised. And Scott, we also know people who haven't worked for the federal government for 15 years have received similar warnings. Major Garrett with the story at the White House tonight. Major, thank you.